Jessica is in love with the demon from hell. Eskel Sykes, the demon, wants to cross the realms and be on Earth. And Jessica's best friend, Lenny, is going to be the key here to make it all happen. But is it that simple? Is it really possible? Would it really happen? And what happens if he manages to come here? What happens to Lenny? And more importantly, does this demon really love Jessica or is he using her? Uita Board by L.M. Robbins is the first book I worked on this year and I was really hoping it to be a good one, okay? The author actually contacted me with a very unapologetic description of his book. He was like, it's an erotica, the language is very curt and it's very graphic. And after my due diligence, after reading the first few chapters, I felt like this is a book that I could like. But who am I? I am Anpita. I make book related videos on this channel talking about books every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. If you are new here, if you just found me, if you just came to know about me, then please make sure you subscribe to me and follow me on my social media and turn your notifications on by hitting that bell button so that you get notified every time I post a new video and there's a lot of extra content that goes up on Instagram. So follow me there as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with this spoiler free review of Oi Jabod by Ellen Robbins. Honestly, beginning this book, I was very excited because my imagination was going wild. I began with silently warning Lenny to not be a fool and follow this girl, okay? This is like this typical best friend who was following this girl he was in love with. And I felt like I should tell Jessica that Eskel might be an evil thing. She should just not believe this demon who is actually in hell right now. And when she may be the key to bring him to the earth or her best friend. I didn't want Jessica to fall into the trap. Likewise, I thought of several scenarios and that got me really excited about this book. Plot-wise, I really liked the first half of the book much more than the second half. The first half had that anticipation building up. You were really excited about it. It was very thrilling to keep reading and, you know, to have that feeling of what happens next. Oh my God, I want to know. But the second half fell a little flat as compared to the first one. However, I think it does get better by the end with more anticipation building up about what happens after this, okay? So, yeah, if I have to see that, would I pick up the next book because I'm excited about what happens by the end? I think I would say a yes, but with a pinch of doubt in it because of second half not being as good as the first half. As thrilling as the first half, I would say. Discussing the characters, I really like the characters in this book. Considering it's an erotica novel, you would expect picture-perfect characters with amazing body and all that stuff, right? But it's actually not so in this book and I actually admired that a lot about this book. I even discussed that on Instagram while doing Instagram stories, which is where I sort of like do my reading vlogs now. There is something really relatable about the characters that have their own insecurities and their demons inside them. Not the Eskel Sykes kind of demon, but the demons which exist in every human being. Moreover, I feel like stories get better when there is a good villain in the story. Hero might be bad, not impressive enough, or heroine might be like that. But if the villain is good, the story is much more impressive. I believe so. What do you guys think about this thing? But having said all of that about the characters and how their imperfections and how they are not so stereotypical characters of an erotica novel, I would say that there is this one line that bothers me a lot which goes something like, who is sweet to a fat kid? I mean, the thought and vibe this particular phrase gave me was, are fat kids supposed to be desperate according to the writing of this novel? As if they find all the imperfections perfect only because they have always been unwanted. So there is this just one line that bothers me, one phrase actually, okay? But otherwise, what I said about the characters, I feel like that's on point. So Jessica and Lenny are not very attractive characters when it comes to the physical appearance and I liked it about this book. Still sadly but happily I would say that Jessica is not really an attractive character in any way. She is so 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 mean. Really mean. You hate her as a character okay. I think that was a very clever and good thing the author did in the book, in the story. So Lenny has a sad past, so you have sympathy for him, whereas Jessica is this evil, mean person, okay? So you are not really sure what you want to think about her, if that demon is playing with her, if that demon is cheating on her, or if that demon is evil, then you might want to feel bad for Jessica, but then you are not feeling bad for Jessica because she's such a mean character. <laughs> So it's just like a struggle. What do you feel for Jessica? And I love that about uh, this book. I mean, when you are in constant turmoil when it comes to your emotions about a character, that's a sign of a good book. 
and the third main character was of course the demon Eskel Sykes. I could have used more of him in the book because I didn't really get to his mind or anything like that. I think that was important for the anticipation building but still I would have liked him more in the book. I would have liked more pages dedicated to Eskel Sykes the demon. When it comes to writing, I think it's very smooth and flowy and it's fast enough for you to read it on a weekend and have a very entertaining, steamy read for a weekend, okay? Overall, I think if you're looking for a quick erotica fantasy to be read for a weekend, then I think you should consider this book. I gave it 3.8 out of 5 stars. For those of you who are based in India, this book is available as a Kindle copy. I have a paperback because... I asked the author to send me a paperback. I really wanted a paperback. But the yeah, Kindle copy is also available. The ebook is available at a very, very um, affordable price. It's free on Kindle Unlimited. Insanely affordable thing, right? But even if you want to purchase it, even if you do not have the Kindle Unlimited subscription, you can buy the ebook at a very low price and you can enjoy this book over a weekend. So I hope you enjoyed watching the review as well. I hope you got whatever you need to decide whether you want to read this book or not. And let me know what you think about the review. Let me know what you think about the book. Do you think you want to read it? Do you think you do not want to read it? If you are below 18, please do not read it, okay? It's an erotica. But kids are reading erotica these days. So ask your parents, okay? I am not going to give you that advice, okay? It would be a very uncomfortable conversation. I don't know what I want to say about that. But let me know if you want to read this book. Comment down below and hit a thumbs up if you like this video. This might be signing off. I'll be back with another video very soon.